the first thing you'll want to do is preheat your oven to 350 and then you will want to spray down your brownie pan um i'm using a, an 8x8 pan you can use a loaf pan you can use a pipe pan whatever's shallow really oh 9 by 13 might be too much so just spray it down um as far as ingredients go, you're going to want a chocolate protein, so you're going to use one scoop of your chocolate protein. I didn't have a tub of protein, so I used a sample of rich chocolate, but this is really going to determine how chocolatey your brownies taste. So you can use milk chocolate, but if you can get like a double chocolate or like a really rich chocolate, they're going to be more chocolate. Then you will want um, unsweetened cocoa powder, so you're going to use two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder in your recipe two ripe bananas the more freckled the better as long as they're not bruised on the inside that's about how you want them because the more ripe your bananas are the sweeter they're going to be if you get the bananas and they're still got a green tip and they're too pretty it's going to be a little bit more bitter so this is perfect for this recipe and then you'll want unsweetened applesauce not sweetened unsweetened so you'll use a fourth cup of applesauce in this recipe and that's it that's all the ingredients so you're going to take all of your ingredients and you're going to blend them or process them or mix them really well. Um, break up the banana into little pieces and then uh, use your mixer to, to blend it until all the chunks are gone. Unless you like chunky brownies with bananas in them, it sounds good. Um, then once you have that, you're just going to pour your mix into your bowl. Be sure to scrape the side so you don't waste any brownie mix. That's, that's it, that's all you do. Then you're gonna put this into the oven for 10 minutes. And if you wanna double check it, you can just push a fork down in there and if it comes out smooth, they're done. So that's what you'll do. So bake them for 10 minutes at 350. I made a mistake, I was wrong. I said that you were gonna bake these for 10 minutes, but really you're gonna bake them for 20 minutes. So make sure that when you do your brownies, that you still bake them at 350, but for 20 minutes, not 10 minutes or they will not be cooked all the way through. So once you have baked them for 20 minutes, you have a beautiful pan of non-fat brownies. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let this cool for probably five minutes before you cut them into squares. Or you could do what I do and just eat them straight out of the pan with a big spoon. 